morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Loud is clear. Loud is good. Loud is enough, right? Isn't it? Okay. Um, thank you so much for all those great introductory words. Uh, well done. You did good research, by the way. Uh, okay. As they mentioned, I'm Danesh Kupala. I'm senior manager. What is GCD? I don't know. I don't know a lot of you. I know they mentioned GCD. GCD is Global Compliance and Transformation. The whole world is looking at transformation. And you understand the word transformation, right? I'll go into details. But I deal uh, with uh, the world uh, international taxes, basically. Uh, I am uh, based in London uh, from 2016. Uh, as they mentioned, I worked in different organizations. I worked in uh, big four organizations. Uh, how many of you heard of big fours? Okay. All of you have become students, right? Big fours are Deloitte. PwC, KPMG, and EY are called big fours. The, the reason they are called big fours, they are the four biggest financial services organizations in the world. And they have presence across the globe. That's why they call called big four, right? They used to be big five before. Uh, after Arthur Anderson, which is then becomes split into Accenture and all those companies, right? I mean, a bunch of them. Then they uh, became big four. It's only big four in the world now. So, as I said, it's Deloitte, EY, KPMG, and PwC, and I worked in all of them. Okay. Um, so to start with, I'll, I'll quickly give you my introduction in terms of like you know where I am, and then probably I'll, I'll talk about why I'm here today. Uh, by the reason, uh, I think first of all you need to uh, thank uh, Mr. Shenmugam. We met last night in, in an event. Um, uh, UK Minister, uh, UK Shadow Minister of uh, Employment, uh, Mr. Seem, uh, Ms. Seem, Ms. Seema Malhotra is here. Uh, I came along with her. So we, we came here to meet for a business network meeting. And uh, Mr. Shinmukam was there in that meeting. So we happened to meet him there. And then he invited me to come over and talk to you guys. That's the reason I'm here. So we all should thank who? Shinmukam. Okay. Let's give him a round of applause. All right. Um, while I'm here, uh, I think uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to give a lot of passion, okay? But I want to be more practical and learn from you and also listen to your questions and then respond to those questions. But before that, I just want to give a quick journey of my career. As she mentioned already, I started with Deloitte in 2007, right after the college. I studied in Badruka College of Commerce. I don't know how many of you know it. It's one of the top 10 colleges in, in India for commerce. After Sriram College of Commerce, how many of you know Sriram College of Commerce? Okay, okay. Are you shy or you don't want to speak to me? <laughs> okay, so it's Madhuka is one of the finest colleges in South India. Um, that's where I, I graduated from, post-graduation from Madhuka College of Commerce. And after that, Deloitte picked me from campus. So I joined Deloitte in 2007 and worked in Deloitte for six plus years. And I've uh, worked in different roles. I started as an associate tax analyst, then moved to an analyst, then moved to a team leader, assistant manager, and became manager. And post that, I moved to Franklin Templeton. Franklin Templeton is a fund manager. How many of you know funds, mutual funds, and all that stuff, right? You have, some of you are banking students here. Who, how many are banking students, by the way? Okay. How, how many become generals? Okay. Become computers? No computer science? Okay. Accounting and finance? Become accounting and finance? Okay. Brilliant. And so, the reason I'm here to kind of give you. Uh, so, so a lot of us think, even when I was a student like you guys, right? So <laughs> sitting in the classrooms, I was thinking, okay, I'm only doing graduation in BCom. How far can I go? What's my maximum limit, right? Everyone think, all of us will think about that, right? And when you talk about the career options, about what is that I want to do? Do I go become a bank manager? Or do I go, go become an accountant? Or do I go and work for, like, do I become a chartered accountant probably? Or do a CWA, ICCA? There are plenty of other courses, right? So you think about various other things, but that's how I started as well. I was thinking like, you know, what should I do now? And then when I was in post-graduation, it happened to me that my college invited Deloitte, like, like me, somebody else from Deloitte came to our college and spoke to us. And we had a keen interest on taxes. And then I picked up taxes as a career. So the reason I'm here today to talk to you, all of you, to say that, you know, there's a lot of plenty of career options for BCom graduates. So, if you are thinking I'm not an engineer, if you are thinking I'm not a doctor, forget about it because I make more money than doctors. I make more money, money than engineers today. I think that needs a pause, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So, don't, don't worry. Don't worry if you're, if you're thinking. 
that you know being in a commerce student can i do big big things you can do bigger things very very big things so the world is full of economists the world is full of commerce students today and the world opportunities are plenty for big companies and uh, the reason i'm here today is to explain you what what career choices that you can take what what makes you uh, to get into those kind of choices right i mean it's not easy to uh, i don't want to say that it's difficult but it, uh, at the same time i don't say it's too super easy if you don't work hard i don't think you'll get there but if you work hard i'm sure no one can stop you to get there because i'll, I'll tell you so a lot of uh, Uh, I've been here in in this industry for 15 plus years, and I believe I'm also a motivation speaker. I, I didn't mention in the in the in my introduction, but um, I'll tell you an interesting fact. Okay, so when I joined Deloitte, there used to be CSR. How many of you know CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, right? So as part of the CSR, I used to work with children of underprivileged, like most of our villages and all that stuff, right? Um, so they wouldn't have communication skills and all. So I used to go to schools and colleges to teach them communication skills. And all. The reason why is because I only studied in Telugu medium all my life. I never studied in English medium. Can you believe it? I never studied English medium. But I've been uh, roaming around the world for the last fifteen years. I worked in US for four years. I worked in uh, Middle East, Dubai, and Saudi Arabia, and all that stuff for four years. I worked in Europe for six years. It is possible. What I'm trying to say is, you might be sitting in Tamil medium schools at some point. You might be sitting sitting in under privilege. You might be thinking that you know we don't have opportunities. How can I go to London? How can I go to US? It is possible. If it was possible to me, it is possible to you. I am one of those under privileged children, but I made it happen. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. How you can do it? Now the question is, okay, great, great words, amazing, super speech and all. It doesn't work, right? Practically, what works is your work. How it worked for me because, um, okay, as I told you, right? I, I know that I am competing with biggest chains in the market. When I got into Madhuka, I was talking to a placement coordinator and I, I asked her who comes here, like which other companies comes here, and I unfortunately or fortunately I see that you know I don't see the bigger names here yet. But if they come here, what happens? What do they look for, right? When I, I've been doing interviews, right, for that four years plus, I've been interviewing people. The first thing I look at any candidate is, quote my words, ninety percent of the recruiters in this world looks at this. Skills can be taught. We look for attitude. We hire people who can learn things. We don't hire people who know stuff already, and thinks that they know everything. We don't hire them because the reason. There is nobody in this world that knows anything and everything. Do you think everyone? No. Is there anyone that knows everything, including your principal? No. no. So what is important is your your willingness to learn. When you sit in an interview, right, for the forty minutes, forty-five minutes, whatever the interview you are sitting and talking to, the interviewer will be looking at if I hire this girl or boy. First of all, I'm very happy there are a lot of girls here. Uh, because women empowerment is one of our top agenda, even in KPMG, we, we want to empower women. We want more women to come up and work, which is happening very well. In Western world, it is very normal, right? I mean, in where I work in London, we we don't have that differentiation. But unfortunately, in India, we still have we have to agree that we still have difficult place. So that's the reason we we encourage uh, you know more women to come up and work. So we give flexible uh, working hours to women. And we give uh, if somebody is going for maternity, we we give them a year of leave, which is unusual. And not only we, like most of the big force does it. And uh, we let them come back and work with us, even if you're like if they say that you know I have a small baby now, can I come back after a year? We are fine. We let you take care of your baby and come back and work. The reason I'm telling all this is when we do that, when we like that employee, how do we like that employee? How do we hire them? We hire them because of their love, willingness to learn. So the first step for you to get into any job market or or becoming entrepreneurs, right? So don't don't aim for only jobs, guys. That that's what I want to say. You know, we want more entrepreneurs. We want more people. Okay, I joined a job and I become something else. Maybe I'll be a partner tomorrow. Partner is the highest stage in um, any of the big four companies, right? And I'm sure I'll be very very soon partner. Okay. So, but once I reach there, I'm still an employee, right? But there there are people who. Creates jobs. There are people who create companies. I think you should focus on that area as well. 
So how does this, this work? So, so I, I want to dissect that. that. Okay. okay. I'll quickly tell you a story. I told you, right? Why, why I wanted you guys to. The reason I'm here is when I when Mr. Shinkum spoke to me, he said we are a new new uh, baby. We are still learning and as well. And I loved his statement. He said, "Nobody to somebody." Do you know this theme? Yes, sir. Your college theme is nobody to somebody. I loved it. That's when I said yes to him because I was nobody just 15 years back, and I'm somebody today. And I'll be super buddy somebody someday. Right? So what what happens in this journey is okay. I'll I'll quickly tell you. I'll not take a lot of time because I won't take a lot of questions. But I studied in, in JPHS school, Jilla Parishad High School. You know, or you call it. I don't know how Tamil Nadu calls them. But we will have uh, government schools, right? That's where I studied, and I studied in a government college. I studied in government schools. I studied in Telugu medium. I never studied English medium. All that stuff. But the moment I got into Bajuka. I've seen this world. It's a very different place to live because people were scoring very high. People were speaking very good English. How do I do this? Then I started working very hard on me, and I love the quote in your room, ma'am. Your limitation is you. The only thing that can limit you is you. If you want to achieve bigger things, nobody can stop you. Believe me. Take my words. If your principal can bring a hundred hundred rupees document also, I can sign it. If you work hard, and if you fail, you can come and ask me. I'll pay you every month's salary. There is no way that you'll fail. No way. People will tell you there is cynical people. There will be negative people around you. They'll say that you know, which may have gone. Sorry, I'll handle that. I'll I'll get in Hindi. So people will keep on telling you, right? People will come and say, no, nothing will work out. This world is crap. You know, it's a bad world, negative world. No one hires you. Only rich people get this. I'm not rich. I wasn't rich, but I am rich today. By the way, uh, I wasn't rich. I make a lot of money today, but it is possible because I worked hard. I can't keep on criticizing the society. It doesn't work that way. The society is for winners. Society is for successful people. Society is not for critical people. The society respects Swaminathan. The society respected Abdul Kalam. The society respected Sundar Pichai. Google CEO today. A boy coming from Tamil Nadu became Alphabet CEO. Can you believe it? Can you believe it happens, boys? It happens, girls. Just believe it happens. Don't think that you know we don't have the facility. Don't think that I'm not studying from NITs. I'm not studying from IIMs. I'm not from uh, studying from IITs. I'm giving an example. I'm standing in front of you. I've been introduced as person coming from London, UK, senior manager, NRI. It's all true. But 15 years back, I was a student from a small village, having no knowledge of anything. And I'll tell you one more thing, right? Beyond all this, there was one more serious pain point for me. I was an orphan. I had no parents, and I started working at the age of seven year old. I started working in exhibitions. You know, trade fair exhibitions. You guys go to trade fair exhibitions, chain wheels and all room. I used to work in those exhibitions, sell balloons and all that stuff. Started working at the age of seven. Earned for my own studies. Studied my own stuff. I had no parents. I was sleeping on streets. Literally sleeping on streets. I used to have a meal once a week. I have my childhood friend also here. He can he can watch for me. I used to go to his house for food sometimes. I used to have food in different people places, man. Can you believe it? But it is possible. And even then, I never criticized society. I never said the world is like no. World is beautiful place. I was doing an interview yesterday. Uh, one of the very famous uh, anchors uh, called me, so I went there and I was in a team interview. And they asked me like, if you have to say, how do you define life? How do you define this world? I said, life is full of opportunities with very few problems. Unfortunately, 99% of this world looks at those few problems and stops there. Right? We always talk about problems, problems, problems. But if you just crack that problem and go beyond it, it's full of opportunities. There is so much in this world that we can do. But, But the, the only way you can do is you have to cross that bridge of problems. If you stop there and criticizing, I'll tell you classic thing, right? And people will say, uh, I I used to speak to a, I I went to NIT, ma'am. I'll tell you, NIT Chichi, all of you know NIT, National Institute of Technology. I was doing a lecture just like this. I was doing a lecture in NIT Chichi a few years back, and um, I spoke in the session and I said my story and all that stuff. A girl came up uh, after my session. I was just crossing the Door and she came up and said, "If you would have not come today, my mom and dad would have seen my dead body tomorrow." 
because she was actually planning to go for a suicide that evening. She was literally, ma'am. This is exactly what she said. I was crying in my, t- I had tears in my eyes. I was like, you are work, you are studying in MIT, the finest institution. You are the brightest student of this world. Why the hell you want to die? Why? And then she started telling me some problems. Okay. And according to me, those are not problems at all. <laughs> But the pro- I, the reason I'm telling you guys, so don't get me wrong. Okay. I'm, I'm the reason I'm telling you this story because. lot of you if you go back and question yourself if you are true to yourself honestly right you you studied all this stuff you said uh, you know very good um, citations what do you call it as kadal what is it we started with prayer right what is it called yeah great words and all right but are you following them are you just saying them are you learning from them you are speaking to teachers you have avm the man the such a legend starting in front of your college Are you learning anything from them? Are you just coming in? Do you think all of them got success just like that? They would have gone through hell lot of struggles. I'm telling you as an example, right? I had if I eat on Wednesday, I didn't have meal on Thursday. If I ate on Saturday, I didn't have meal on Sunday. That's how I lived, I lived my life. But today, my kids eat a meal in Falaknama, which is like fifteen thousand rupees worth each meal. But that is possible. I'm not telling to boost myself. What I'm telling you is, a boy who had no meal for days can earn meal fifteen thousand per meal. Per meal, as in like, okay, put up. I don't know what you say. One one meal, right? One meal, fifteen thousand rupees. I can I can pay today because I'm I'm making money. How is it possible? If I would have stopped there where I had no meals and go on and join anti-social elements, I would have done that, right? I would have been a rowdy on the street gangs and all. It is possible, right? Because I was on the streets, and he was out of bad friends from streets. I would have done a lot of lot of wrong things. Is there a possibility or no? What is the possibility? Highest possibility is me becoming a bad guy, right? Because I was being harassed by the society. I was not given opportunities. I was sleeping on the streets. If you literally think about practically, even if I would have become a goon, right, a, a goon or rowdy, society would have not said anything to me. they would have been sympathized with me because this boy had no parents that's why that's why that's why he became like that that's what we say generally but i did not become that i wanted to be a superstar i came out and i was doing very well in india but i was not satisfied i wanted to go i want to lead the world what is the financial capital of the world Do you guys know what's the financial capital of the world Do you know where all the financial banks headquarters are in london Do you guys know this London is the financial capital of the world. I wanted to rule the world. That's why I chose London too. I went there, and I'm leading the global teams today. That's why I wanted to say, what is GCD? It's not a general tax role. I'm leading global compliance. I lead 190 countries tax practice. It is possible. It is possible when you think you can do it. I speak to various people. I was telling principal ma'am. I speak to Philippines in the morning. I speak to Japanese in some time after. I speak to Malaysians. I speak to Americans. I speak to Canada. I speak to Mongolians. How is it possible? A boy who knows only Telugu as a language now he speaks to the whole world. It's only possible because of the determination. It's because he wanted to do it, right? So I want you guys to do that. Okay? Uh, if I'm here today, I'm not aiming. Um, I'm I'm not aiming that you know all of you become superstars. I'm not saying that. Okay, don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is at least have the vision which is big. जब आपका dream छोटा होता है ना, like when your dream is small, you can only achieve small. When your dream is big, you achieve big. Sundar Pichai, what 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 else you need? Example of Sundar Pichai is much bigger than anything, isn't it? Satya Nadella, Sundar Pichai, where where were they? They were here. Just next to you. And do you know the value of Sundar Pichai today? He is the highest paid employee of the world. Do you know how much he gets paid? He gets paid more than country's budgets. You know Alphabet's value today? Alphabet is Google's mother company. Their their budget, as in the the annual turnover, is bigger than fifty six countries. Fifty six countries' revenue is smaller than one company. And that company is led by a Tamilian. Are you not proud of it? 
and Microsoft is led by Telugu guys, Satya Nadella. I am very proud of it. I tell that every day to so people sitting next to me. And by the way, KPMG UK is led by Bina Mehta, who is Indian. Deloitte is led by Puneet Ranjan. Deloitte, the whole Deloitte, the global Deloitte CEO is Puneet Ranjan, who is Indian. Shiva Nadar, HCL. What names am I taking? Am I taking anything that you, you don't know? All of those kids were sitting somewhere like you guys only. But they all dreamt big. They thought we want to do big. Even in today's session when I was speaking, I said, I'll become a partner very soon. I don't know whether I'll become or not. But I said this in front of everyone. Now I'll be conscious. I said to 200 students standing there tall and said, I'll be a partner. If I don't become a partner, I'll be guilty of myself. I want to achieve that. So I'll set milestones. My mo milestones are bigger. So this is the second message I want to do. First message was determination, okay? Aim big, you can, but determine to do it. So, because like, you know, when the way is small, you can only travel so much. When the way, way itself is big, you travel more, you learn more. When you travel more, when you learn more, you earn more. When you earn more, you, earn more, you win more. The hungerness, like, you know, when do you eat more? When you're hungry, isn't it? When your stomach is full, will you eat more? When do you eat more? When you are hungry. When you achieve more. When you have hunger for achievement. When you want to achieve. I want to do this. You have to go and tell your principal and placement officers, whosoever it is. You know what? I'm going to crack Deloitte. You know what? I'm going to crack KPMG. You know what? I'm going to crack EY. Just tell me what is the biggest name you that you have. I'll tell you one story, okay? I think uh, Satish knows it already, but I'll, I'll tell you quickly. In my intermediate, as I said, I was orphan, right? So I, I, I was only going to government schools and I wanted to go to big best, best college. So I went to a college who, what is, which was the best in the uh, city. So I went to them, like your principal, there was a managing director and I went to him and I said, I don't have money, but I want to study only in this college. And at that time they were charging 10,000. I'm talking about 20 years back. 10,000 per annum. I said, I had no money, not even one rupee, but I want to study in this college. And he, he was like, are you, are you mad? Why would I give you admission if you don't have money? I said, if I give you a district top, would you give me admission? If you believe me, this is exactly what I said. If you want to check, go and check Google. You'll see all my YouTube videos. I'll tell you a story now. I played KBC. You guys know KBC, right? I was a participant in Konbane Gokarupati. I told the same story there to Nagarjuna as well. And you can see, you go and Google Ganesh Kupala, my name, you'll find hundreds of videos. I did a lot of shows, TV shows. I did a lot of English TV shows. I did, I've been interviewed by ministers of UK. I've been, all this stuff happened because of my determination. Not because I'm superstar, because I wanted to be a superstar. It's not about, you know, coming with the silver spoons and golden spoons, what do you call it, right? You know, I came up with the golden spoon. It doesn't work that way. Sundar was not a golden spoon boy. Satya was not a golden spoon boy. Shiva was not a golden spoon boy. Neither of them. They were all very normal people. Abdul Kalam, the greatest example. He was in this streets. He had no food. Rameshwaram is the smallest town then, right? But president of India. Missile man of the world. And there's a scientist day on his name. Today, the whole world celebrates scientist day on, on the name of Abdul Kalam. What else he can achieve? But how, how was it possible? Because of his determination. So, I went to that college. I have to tell this, okay? I went to this college and said, I, I will do this. So, he said, no, no, I can't give you admission. I said, if I give you a district talk, would you give me admission? He was like, are you kidding me? No, I said, no, no, I'll give you district top rank. And I did that. I was a In intermediate, I was a gold, gold medalist. I scored district tops. And I've been awarded by Chief Minister of the Andhra Pradesh then. How that happened, that boy, not about today, not this fat, heavy man, but that boy who was 15 year old, determined to do because wisdom was the only philosopher for him. He had no money, right? I had no money. So what, what is that I can sell to the world? My knowledge, right? So I started selling the knowledge. I started challenging everyone who came in front of me. I said, I'll give you this TikTok. Would you give me rank? Then I went to my graduation. They said, okay, he's a district topper. So let's give him free seat. So then I studied in free for all, whole my life. I never paid anything, but I only studied. After 10th standard, I never studied in government institutions. I studied in all private institutions only, but I paid not even single penny. Instead, they paid me money. 
because i was scoring i was district topper and then i was university topper i was do, i was doing i was cracking every exam because i realized this is the only way to win the world you are getting my point you guys understood if there is a neat topper don't you think people will come to their home the somebody who scoring the best in 10th standard don't you think this all this big name colleges will go to their home and i bring them to the admissions right why that happens because of the knowledge what are they selling they are selling the knowledge so whatever you have what i generally tell is like you know even to if you go to a tv shop ma'am the boy as a sales person sitting in the tv shop will tell you 100 features of the tv sound is amazing led quality of the picture is amazing and all that stuff if a tv which is no life has so many characteristic me being a man with such a knowledge how many characters you should I have don't i sell myself to the world should i not i should and that's what they did do you think sachin andela has become a microsoft ceo just like that no he would have he would have spoken to people and he would have challenged them i'll show you this and he made it happen that's what i'm telling trying to tell you today if you pause but i don't know how many of you can do this but who ever can do this no my aim is always one okay if i'm meeting to 200 people i want only those two who will be a superstars but i don't know who they are maybe that's her that's her that's her i don't know who that is maybe that's him sitting in the last bench i don't know who that is but i know for sure the third person is seriously listening to me now i know for sure after 10 years he is going to he or she is going to speak in a college and say that one day the man came to me and said i can achieve and i can kick this world with success and i listened to him today i am here i'm sure it is going to happen because i've seen that happening i've seen that happening 10 years back i spoke to few students and they are i i'll tell you one product the biggest proud moment for me uh, recently one of my students have cracked upsc civics i was speaking to him just 10 years back just like this and he called me and said you know what ganesh you spoke to me that day i'm an ips officer today it happens it happens believe me it happens but the only thing you have to do is just promise me just promise me one thing okay i don't want anything from you just one thing can you be true to yourself you don't have to tell the world just be honest to yourself you know your strengths right you know your weaknesses you know the opportunities that are eating you you know the threats that are against you you know the sort analysis on you did you guys do that i don't know do you guys you guys do this in the course schools i think they should be doing it if you're not done yet go back home sit and do one thing okay if your name is ganesh start the paper with the name ganesh start writing what's gane forget about ganesh is you okay forget about that just start analyzing ganesh what's ganesh strength ganesh has a very good voice ganesh can communicate well ganesh has no fear ganesh can start in front of 200 people can deliver speech start start writing then weaknesses ganesh can not run 100 meters in 10 seconds i cannot accept it what what's wrong don't don't bring your egos into life i cannot i cannot walk like you i'm heavy i cannot i cannot run like you i'm i'm happy to accept in front of 200 people i'm heavy what is the problem right it could be gen- genetic it could be anything don't be a loser because of weaknesses you getting my point the world will show weaknesses the world will come and poke you on your weaknesses only people will come and say i'm so good right with a lot of other stuff there will be a boy who comes and says there will be people who is watching me on youtube you know he is so heavy what's the point do i have to go back and respond to him no because i am too busy with my stuff i have so many things to achieve what i'm trying to say is i'm just giving as example of me because i don't want to take anyone else's example people might say you don't have good english people might say you are not good enough people might say you are such skill one of the skills is not good but instead of people listening to people okay listen to yourself write your strengths write your weaknesses wherever you have weaknesses accept them there is no problem people will have faults there is nobody in this world who is 100% impossible there's no one including einstein do you know what einstein said einstein said to in in one of the interviews how, how much do you think you have used your brains for einstein who invented e equal to mc square the whole one world runs on e equal to mc square isn't it 
US no Einstein, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So that guy, being finest scientist of the world, said, I did not even used 1% of my brain. If Einstein did not use 1%, what have we used? Right? So it's all, it's all about us. So accept it. There's nothing wrong. That's the second thing, okay? Write about your strengths. Write about your weaknesses. Understand yourself. Whole world is watching you. If you don't watch yourself, you'll be a loser. Don't get me wrong. But that is the reality. You go, uh, you all go to barber shops, right, boys? Right? You go to uh, do the haircut. What do we what do we talk in the haircuts? Virat Kohli did not do a cover drive well. Don't you hear that? In the barber shops, we see that Sachin did not play well. That shot would have been like this, that not like this. We hear that, right? Or we talk about, you know, Stalin should have done this, not this. Or about Narendra Modi. Don't we hear that? What's interesting is, that barber don't even know how to do the haircut. He talks about Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The problem of this world is, we don't know about ourselves. We talk about everyone else. This is the reality. Don't you agree? Girls, you know it very well as well. When you force it, you, I know, accept it. We talk about others. Isn't it? And what do we talk about others? We talk about positive stuff? No, right? We start criticizing people. Look at her hair. Isn't it? Like that, that powder is not good, man. I don't know what she, what kind of perfume is that? Oh, yeah. It's not smelling good. All that stuff. No, no, I heard that. I've been in colleges right as well. So what I'm saying is your energies, your, all your energies is going in useless stuff. If you channelize your energy well, you'll be superstars. Believe me, you will be. And I'm sure you will call and tell me, ma'am, after 10 years, you will hear from one of these students and telling that they are superstars. It is possible. The only way to get there is focus on yourself. Antar Madanam is what they say in Sanskrit. I don't know if you know this word. Introspection. Right? Before studying anything in this world, study yourself. Excess, uh, what do you call it? X-ray. X-ray, right? X-ray lens. Wear X-ray lens and study yourself. Understand your everything. What is my strength? My, what is my weakness? If you know that no 50% of the job, job is done, then you will focus on your strengths. If you can, if you can work on your weaknesses, which is good. But if you know that there is a permanent weakness that you cannot fix it, don't worry about it. Accept it. The moment you accept your faults, you will be very happy about them. The more, the, as long as you hide them, right? We hide our faults. We don't. If I don't have good communication skills, I stop speaking. Isn't it? That's what we do. If there is a person who is speaking very good English, I am not good at English, for example. I'll, I'll not I'll not speak only. I, or I'll avoid that circle. I don't know. Those, these three people, I don't speak to them anymore. Because they always speak in English. You know what I'm saying? So, this is the problem. If you understand that problem, then go back and speak to them and say that, okay, you know what? I don't have good communication skills. Can, can I learn from you? What's wrong in asking? One of my partners, when I joined the law, told me that, the first thing he told me, smart people ask for help. Remember this. Only smart people ask for help. Only dumb people be shy. If you are shy, don't get me wrong, okay? Don't criticize me, don't troll me afterwards. But if you are shy and if you are not opening up yourself, if you are not asking for help, how would the other person know that you need help? You are all not astrologers, right? I don't know your, your biography. I don't know about anything. If you come and ask me, while I am here, if somebody comes and asks me, can I get your email ID or can I ask you about this professional question or something else, then I probably will be able to help you. But if you hide in a shell and don't want to open up, how, how would the world know about you? Right? So the third and final ask from me to you, I don't know if you're making note of this, is please, please, please come out of that shell. There's a word called, I don't know if, if it is the same in Tamil, it's called Kupasta Mandukam, which is frog in the well. Right? Don't be the frogs in the well, okay? What is it? Yeah, that, that word, yeah. She'll tell you what that means. So in, in the well, you know the well, right? The frogs in the well, they don't come up. Even if one tries to come up, no, it will stop. The reminding of them will keep on uh, dragging them down. And you will find such kind of people everywhere in your life. 
okay when i when i completed my plus 2 and i said i'll go and do this my class used to be 60 people almost 59 of them said you can't do it believe me you can't do it that's what they told me no 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 you can't do it you are a telugu medium student you they said you are going for deloitte interview you think you can crack it i said yeah i can crack it they said like no 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 it's not for people like you it's for people who studied in convents and all the stuff because the lot you know the lot interview is very difficult i don't know how many of you know the first test itself is english test you have to clear english test to go to the technical test and i was a telugu medium student and everyone told me that you cannot crack it because you have no clue what it means but i cracked it you know i was a topper whenever they challenged me i kicked it very hard whenever the anybody challenged in this world i said my answer very very strongly and that's exactly what i want you to do come back and give the reply with your work not with your words a lot of our leaders say that right i don't know how you say it in tamil but baato se kuch nahi hoga like it's not about words it's about actions once you once your action speaks no they speak much much louder than your words so do that so come out of shells work hard Determine, you mind you will achieve and do, if you are not achieving I, I, as i told you i'll give you a writing in 100 100 rupees bond paper if anyone can challenge me and come back and say you know what mr ganesh on 2nd of august you came to our college and said if you work hard you will be successful you are crap i worked hard i was not successful if you come and tell me i'll pay you on from that day to whole life i'll pay you salary but can you be true to yourself when you say i worked hard what do you mean by working hard do you know what is working hard working hard means version 2 of yourself every day i'll stop with this this is my last statement version 2 of yourself did you get that what is version 2 you you know iphones iphone releases versions different versions right 1 2 3 it's 14 pro now is it do you think the every version is similar 14 pro is equal to 14 is it no right it is advanced similarly every individual should be a different version every day if i know 10 things yesterday i should be knowing 11 things at least today and the next day i have to increase so if you focus on your version 2s every day and say that you know i can challenge i am a version 2 from yesterday and the next day i do so that's what i focus on every day as well even today i i i promise to myself that if i haven't learned anything on a day i will not have meal that's my promise to myself anything it could be anything it could be artificial intelligence it could be science it could be commerce it could be some some new person it could be a biography or something but there should be valuable thing that i should be learning on that day otherwise i'm not eligible to have a meal why are we why are we eating by the way what have we achieved to eat are the biryani can like every day you eat biryani isn't it as in like who's ever eating Are you eligible for the for the biryani? Biryani. What is what is that you achieve to eat that? You have done nothing to eat. If you are having very good meal, if you are wearing very good dresses, what is that you have achieved to do it? Do something big in your life so you can you can always appreciate your work and you know be eligible for that meal. I'm I'm not being too hard on you, but don't do that. Okay, have your meals. But I'm saying as 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 a promise, just promise yourself. Should I be doing something better tomorrow? If I'm not doing better tomorrow, I'm liable to myself. You don't have to explain the world, okay? Don't worry about the world, but answer to yourself. With that, thank you so much. Uh, by the way, uh, as I told you, everything is possible. A man who was orphan became KBC contestant. Sat with Nagarjuna. Sat with all the prime ministers, ministers, leading the global team. All that is possible within just 15 years. I'm not too old, okay? Don't get me wrong. Okay, people might be thinking he is telling so much of so many success stories. How old is he? I'm only 37. Okay, I started at the age of 23. 15 years I've been working, but I've achieved everything in this last 14 years. It is possible. It is even more possible for you guys. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for your words of wisdom. I'm sure everyone is willing to take challenges in their life. If anyone is interested in asking questions, please step forward. The question is why? Why should I? Why did I choose tax? When did I think that I can choose tax? Okay. Uh, I chose uh, tax as a career option when uh, I realized that tax is the field that nobody can avoid in this world. Go to any country in this world, 
okay and uh, when, when i realized uh, when i was doing my master of commerce so i was going through various subjects okay and i wanted to kind of pick up a career which which excites me every day okay when, when you choose a career, career make sure that you you are loving that career otherwise it's, it's, it's a very difficult uh, path to go because if you don't like something you will not be super successful i love taxes believe me i love taxes you might be uh, hearing this for the first time but i love taxes because tax keeps on changing right in india also you have seen the tax rate changes gst comes in vat comes in something else comes in it's always changing world the only place that can be such changing i thought in the my stream i'm not saying every stream my stream of education tax is the only place where it, that can be super super dynamic and there's a dynamic changing every day right so I, that's when i thought because i'm 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 a person by my personality right i am a person who likes new things otherwise i'll get bored very quickly you would have noticed in my whole career progression in the last 14 years i've changed six companies and i did not work any any company more than Uh, I, don't, I don't want to say that, but yeah, I, I'm a person who likes to. I, I want something new, challenge, challenge. Give me more, give me more. Otherwise, I'll be bored. You know what I'm saying? If if I'm if I'm very comfortable, not someplace, I leave the company. Somebody asked me in the recent interviews. He was uh, like, I was in Delhi, Middle East. Okay, I was I was getting good money. I was getting paid eight nine lakhs per month, which is very good for commerce. You know, you know, do you know anybody who gets paid nine lakhs per month with, with just just master of commerce? I have not done MBA. I am not a chartered accountant. I did not do any of that. But my salary was nine lakhs per month. Okay. And then when I went for London stuff, right? So they they asked me, why why are you coming here? Because you have good package, you have a good. Then I said I was very comfortable, so I'm leaving. It's a unusual answer, isn't it? Because wherever you're comfortable, you want to say more, isn't it? But for me, I'll be very uncomfortable if I'm comfortable. I don't know if you understood that. I'll be very uncomfortable if I'm comfortable. Because when you're comfortable, you don't grow. You know Amiba, right? How many of you know Amiba? October's Amiba. Do you know the growth of Amiba? It, it goes from it grows from everywhere. I'm like that. I grow from everywhere. By personality, by the looks of it, I grow from everywhere. Okay. See, See, that's that's, that's, that's how I wanted to be. That's the reason I chose tax as a field because it excited me when I was uh, reading. Uh, I, I two fields actually excited me the most: law and tax. But law, I couldn't. I I didn't want to choose law because at that time, law didn't have international exposure. Now you have international exposure, but I wanted to go to US immediately because the whole world, software engineers and all of them, you know, right? How how this world is. They used to be carrying laptops. I'm talking about 2007. The fancy jobs were IT services, right? Na, IT services were the fancy jobs. So I said, I thought, okay, I'm, but I'm studying BCom. How can I do this? So I, I, I thought, okay, Deloitte is the only place I can do this. I wanted to go to US immediately. I joined in 2007. In 2008, I went to US. Within one year, I went to US because I worked very, very hard. I used to work for 2,000 hours a year, 1,800 hours a year. Every day I used to work 14 hours, and my boss used to come. No, you don't have to do this. Your job hours only nine hours. I'm not saying you should do this. Okay, it's only I'm telling my example. I'm not telling you know you go and work 14 hours. Now you don't have to. I only work seven hours today. Okay, that's because the world completely changed. 15 years back, it's it's all about lot of lot of work. Now it's it's more of smart work. You know, bringing up new apps, bringing up new uh, services. That's the world today. So don't work hard. Work smart only. But that's how I choose my path. And it's it's a beautiful career. If you if you none of you have thought about tax as a career, right? I'm telling you, tax are very very highly paid profession. I don't know if you know this. Even in India, if you crack any of GST, CST officers are very well paid. Okay, and where and everybody gives respect to you. If you're a tax man, even chief minister stands and says hello to you. No, believe me, that is true. Because the only person who who the whole world is scared of is Tax person, and I wanted to be that person. That's why I chose uh, tax as a career. So, if you haven't thought about tax as a career, please do. Please do think about it because the very good opportunities across the world. Not only in India. Okay, I'm not talking about India. Old world has brilliant tax opportunities because even countries like UAE, you know Dubai, right? Where there were no taxes before. 
even UAE is introducing tax. UAE has introduced corporate tax now from 2023. So if you if you are a budding like who's our, how many third year students here? Third year. Oh, most of you are third year. Okay, brilliant. So if you haven't thought about tax as a career, immediately look into that. Maybe I mean I don't I'm not pushing you. Okay. I'm not being that parent that everyone you should study engineering only. I'm not saying that, okay? But I'm saying look for, look into that as one also as an option. And finance and tax are very, very highly paid skill sets in the world. People will come back and tell you, we think that doctors are highly paid. That's not true. That's not actually true. Engineers are highly paid. That's not true. London School of Economics, I don't know how many of you heard. How many of you know London School of Economics? LSE, London School of Economics. Imperial College of London. Harvard? Oxford? Okay. Most of these universities, if you go and study their statistics, the highest paid departments are economics, commerce, tax. There is technology as well. I'm not degrading technology. But because we are in commerce, I'm speaking the commerce language. I'm not saying artificial intelligence is less paid. No. Robotics is highly paid. Artificial intelligence is highly paid. Machine learning is highly paid. But, but the interesting, interesting fact is, is even tax people can do machine learning. We, we had a tool um, uh, in while I was in EY, which, which is completely machine learning tool, but tax people manage it. So, so for, you know, you guys go and do this. Uh, how many of you know Musk? Musk? Have, have you ever seen the vans, uh, the trucks with Musk? They the, the are the sh biggest shipping company in the world. <coughs> how many of you know Shell? Shell, Shell Petroleum. Petroleum. Okay. okay. All, All of them. When you when you go and uh, um, mask shipping, if you do, there's a the, the invented uh, uh, machine learning algorithm, which actually the moment you invoice it, the debit and credit entry will be passed. You don't need accountants. They do this, and the whole entries will be passed through the machine learning. So accountants also do machine learning. Accountants also use robotics. Accountants also use artificial intelligence. But our problem is, we don't know that. The world thinks chartered accountants are the people who sits, or not, not chartered accountants, chartered accountants is uh, highly paid as well. But some of the people think BCom people will be those people who sits in the shops and writes about credit what, you know, whatever that three quarter rules are, you know, debit credit. No, that's not the world anymore. It is completely changed. No one, no one does entries, okay? No one does entries. There is tally, there is. 200 system who does that. that. People don't do that anymore. If you're, you're thinking, thinking that is the world, forget about it. Today's world is all about artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, RPA. I don't know you, how many of you know RPA. Robotic process automation, right? So all that stuff is, is true, and that is true uh, in the tax and the finance areas as well. So that's a good question. I know a lengthy answer, but I thought it's relevant to you. Uh, who, especially for third year students, right? If you are, if you're thinking, oh, okay, time, uh, you know, let's see when it comes. You're too late already. So seriously think about your careers immediately and what you want to do. It's very very important. If you don't choose the right career path that that interests you the most, you might end up being in a place that doesn't suit you for a long time. You would go back and see. I don't know how many of you know. You would have heard very few people who are talking about. Lacks of salary as an accountant, isn't it? Very, very few. But there are a lot of other opportunities as well that is open for BCom students. That's what I wanted to say. Please don't stop yourself thinking that you know I can only go here, I can only be banker, I can only be. You can be banker, you can be accountant, you can be a child accountant, you can be a CWO, you can be a CA, you can be an enrolled agent. See how many I'm telling. Enrolled agents are highly paid in US. I don't know how many of you know. Enrolled agents is a course. For tax people, uh, who does, who represents like lawyers, right? You guys know lawyers, right? For tax, there will be um, courts, tax courts separately, and enrolled agents are those people who represents the taxpayer in front of the departments. And enrolled agents is actually open in India now. You can go and study enrolled agents. It's a super easy course. If you're a good student, in six months you'll crack it and you'll be paid immediately in one lakh rupee per month immediately. CPA, yeah, CPA is even, CPA is a bit difficult. Enrolled agency is super duper easy. Uh, um, don't get me wrong, but that's, EA is only for tax. CPA is for finance, audit, everyone. And if you can't do CPA, CPA is open in India as well now. It, it used to be, when I was studying, 
only if you have the right CBA exams, you have to go to US. Then they opened in Australia, then they opened in Dubai. Now you are open to right CBA exams in India. So career options are plenty. That this is what I wanted. Even I was talking to Shenmuga yesterday. I said, you know, um, okay, good thing you did is like you know you have few streams, but are you exploring the options of like what happens after BCom? Don't go in conservative. When I say conservative, don't go in that like horse attitude. You know the horse attitude, right? Ekki tarab dekhi like only one set horse watches. That's not today's world is about three sixty degrees. Bye bye like. Left, right, back, front, everywhere you have to watch because there are plenty of opportunities. Okay, and tax, being a tax man, I'm telling you, tax is a beautiful career. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Boys. Yeah. There's a question. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Hi. Sir, actually, I'm also working under a KPMG associate partner. Oh. So I am a CA final student doing my article sheet. And uh, I work in financial due diligence in mergers and acquisitions. Brilliant. So I've done my CMA US also. I thought of getting into management consulting. Okay. And after uh, I saw a journal, Wall Street of Journal, that's a boom in US tax. True. So every big four is going to double its workforce in India also. So most of this uh, are outsourced in India. So. Even I am doing my enrolled agent also. I am going to appear in November examination. Brilliant. See, he is there is already a, a very good, good job done. So I thought of uh, moving into US uh, in the fall of 2025. And the one uh, disadvantage is uh, only I can get a three years OPT if I do a masters in US. And I am thought of doing in Cleveland. And I also have a. Um, A uh, partnership with the Video Alliance, which is top five in big three, two or two one century. So, if I join KPMG TDS in Bangalore, will they give me a direct H one B visa sponsorship? No, 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 they won't. Okay, so KPMG does give H ones. KPMG uh, does give visas, but it doesn't happen based on your education. Because you're a year, they don't give you visa. They give you visa because of your work. If you're working very well in the organization, there is an opportunity in US. If you appear for the right opportunity, and if they select you, I, I told you right, Deloitte sent sent me to US within one and a half years of time. I'm talking about 15 years back, where there was no EA and all, and US market was looked completely different. I was US tax person for last first 10 years, then I moved to international, right? So first, uh, those days were very difficult to get US. You know what I'm talking about. So today itself it's very difficult, but then it was even more difficult. But it worked for me because I used to work very very hard, and I created the opportunity myself. So there used to be old saying, right? You know, opportunity knocks your door, open it, it comes to you. You know what I'm saying, right? That's old, okay? My saying will be, don't have the doors. Let your doors be open only. Why the hell you need doors? Let the opportunities come and flow. Whatever is you like, you pick it up. Opportunity is coming, knocking, you opening the door and all. Both time like that. You know, it takes a lot of time. Instead, let's not have the doors. No, let's be open. Let's look for the opportunities or whatever comes in. Like you know, you're going and sitting in a classroom and you see uh, somebody artificial intelligence speaking, talks to writers, for example, or somebody from a tech company coming and speaking, and he thinks, okay, this software needs an accountant. Jump in and say that you know, I know it's a software company, but I'm an accountant. I can contribute. Let's do this. That's, That's all you have to do. So what I'm trying, trying to say is, don't limit yourself. Every field needs accountants. Every field needs finance guys. Every field needs tax guys. If you're stopping yourself with only banks, if you're stopping yourself with only big fours, including being big four, also I'm saying this. Big fours is amazing career option. Okay, finest that all commerce can think of. But don't stop there. If big fours. For some reason, it's not working for you. Don't stop there. Go and look into something else. As I told you, right? I mean, all the artificial intelligence companies are looking for accountants today. All the all the machine learning uh, softwares developers need accountants because they need to write the program related to your golden rules. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Three golden rules. That's what they have to write the program for. So they need you. So, but yeah, all the best to you. But uh, to answer your question. No one, one will give you visa based on your education. People will give you visa based on your work, and there is an opportunity in US. But I I don't think it is difficult today. You will definitely crack it.
Så det blir det. Tack för att du gjorde fast. But yeah, that, that's what I was telling. Don't wait for your course to complete. I think he's doing the right thing by choosing EA at the moment. Because if you finish EA, become with EA, Deloitte, EY, PwC, KPMG are ready to hire you immediately. Because they need enterprises. And US tax is booming highly. Everywhere. For example, like, okay, forget about US tax, okay? UK tax or any tax for that matter. India is the place because India is the third largest sorry, fifth largest economy in the world at the moment and is going to be third largest very soon. We are going to beat Germany very soon. I don't know how many of you heard about Narendra Modi speech in US parliament recently, very recently. Kamala Harris was sitting behind him. Joe Biden was sitting behind him. He said, we are fifth largest and we will be third very soon. And it's going to happen. It is going to happen. India is going to be the third largest economy in the world. And the moment third largest economy in the, in the world. I'll tell you one interesting thing, okay? Recently, we had India Week in London. What this India Week basically means is basically all the ministers across and uh, business tycoons, uh, all of them, uh, comes to London and sit together, think about what, what is that we are going to do for the next generation in India. And uh, the narrative, when I say, I don't know if you understood the meaning of narrative, as in like the perspective of the Western world looking at India has completely changed. Five years back, right, four or five years back, when we used to sit in such kind of conferences, the discussion used to be that, okay, how much you can bring to India? You know, can you bring some investments to India, some investments to India? That used to be the narrative, that used to be the ask. But the narrative in the latest India week is completely different. It was more like, can India bring investments to the UK? Can you believe it? We should be very proud of all the work that governments are doing here. And also, it's not about governments, right? Not only about governments. The brilliant fact about India is 60% of Indian population is less than 35 year old. And we are the richest human capital nation in the world. You know human capital, like all of us, right? So 35 and below or 65%. Out of 140, like 1.4 billion people, close to... 0.7 or 0.8 billion of them are less than 35 year old. We are the richest human capital country. So world has no option than to come to us. So every jobs will come and knock your doors. So be ready for it. That's all I have to say. And everything I'm telling is facts. Okay, you can Google, you can claim whatever you want to do. Go and research. So that is very important. Okay, uh, I don't know how many of you are faculty here, but uh, one thing I, I urge you, ma'am, is um, and I do this in every college. As part of your curriculum, right? I know you will be teaching your courses and all, but at least do 30 to 45 minutes of research in a week, minimum. And that should be nothing to do with your courses. It has to be beyond your courses. It has to be about economy of the world. It has to be about opportunities of in this world. It has to be about different career options in the world. Don't limit your, yourself to Chennai, Bangalore, Delhi, Hyderabad, whatever. When you, at least when you're doing the research, do research across the globe. Can I go and work in maybe like Montaria? Have you heard of this country? Okay. Uh, or like how about Canada? How about US? How about something else? Spain maybe? Norway? Right? So all these countries. And Norway has the hap best happiness in this index in the world. I don't know how many of you know. Nordic, Denmark. You know Denmark? France. France people only work six hours a day. You know that? Why do you want to work nine hours a day then? <laughs> if there's an opportunity in France, I'm not saying you guys should leave. What I'm saying is, explore, nothing wrong in exploring the options. If, if there is good options, and the world, see, the, those olden days have gone, okay, where people will be talking about, if you only live in India, that's where you, that's when you are Desh Bhakti, you know, all this stuff comes in. No. Today, you have to rule the world, bring the money to India. Go and earn outside, okay? Spend in India. That's what I'll tell students. Because that's how the nation grows, right? If you sit here and you make 20,000 per month, is that a better Desh Bhakti or whatever you call it as, patriotism? Or if I go out and make 10 lakhs and spend 6 lakhs every month in India, is that more good for country? Spending 6 lakhs is better for country, right? I'll get VAT, I'll get my uh, taxes, uh, purchase power increases, new products comes up, all this stuff. You know, I'll tell you one interesting fact. Tamil Nadu, you know Tamil Nadu's um, GDP, and I don't know if you guys do this, but all of you are BCOM, you should know all this. 
So, so Tamil Nadu's turnover, the, the business income of Tamil Nadu, is more than 30 countries annual budget. 330 billion is comes from Tamil Nadu manufacturing. There's so much, so much, so much happens across Tamil Nadu. Coimbatore, Belur. Yeah, and lot of so 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 much manufacturing. There's so much of like textile industry. Salem is it? The, the Seven Hills. Yeah. Um, Salem Salem produces uh, the highest uh, Tommy Hill figure. You wear Tommy Hill figure shirts. Those are manufactured in Salem. A lot of us don't know. And uh, that, that's how that's how Tamil Nadu is. Tamil Nadu is very very powerful in manufacturing sector. So you have to you know you have to kind of take the advantage of all this around you ecosystem and develop yourself into into a next generation resource. So you can look for opportunity across the world. That's what I can say. All right. Anything else? Only last question. What's the time? Time. Time. Okay. I I, I have time for one more one or two questions here. It can be anything. Career options. That that's a good question. Uh, anything else? How many of you are banking? By the way. Banking students. I am not asking your property, okay? I am only asking what, what <laughs> course are you in. Okay, okay, okay. So, so you all want to be a bankers bank only? Okay, that's good. Okay, also I will tell you, banking also have plenty of other career options, okay? Don't only think of your banks, okay? Banking is much bigger than only banks. You might be thinking banking is banks, that's not true. Banking is much, much, much bigger than banks. Uh, the fund industry, you guys, I, I was I was working with Franklin and Midland, mutual funds. So, mutual funds, portfolio management is again, very, very, very good opportunity. So, you have to explore into that as well. And there's also, um, you know the hedge funds? I don't know, you're, you're studying hedge funds and all that stuff? In your investment management is one of your subjects? And you read about hedge funds? Okay, not yet maybe. But hedge fund industry is very big as well. And uh, you would have heard about venture capitalists, VCs. It's, it's a very big industry. Venture capitalists pays very well. And all these companies has somebody from banking background. Right? So, see, today, a lot of, lot of surprises I have seen in the faces of people, okay? Because you have never heard of these careers before. And the reason because you are not doing enough research. So, that's the reason I'm asking you guys, go back, sit on the computers, use Google, for good, good reasons. I know you use for a lot of other reasons. But use Google for good reasons. Do good research. There's plenty of opportunities. Okay? With that, I think if you don't have any questions, I'll close here. Oh, you have a question. Thank you. I have to probably drink water. It's a principal question. Hi, by, by the way, good selection of the picture. I look very nice there, right? Thanks to Viscom Department. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my question is like, uh, you have traveled a long way, right? And more to go, more, more to go. And my prayers and uh, wishes for that Thank on you. behalf of Avici College. See, from college, I mean, like after the college, that from Deloitte to as on now, did you develop through any net, you were very particular about developing a network to you or the known person who, with whom or through whom you can also travel or you chosen some other path to travel. Because that's not an easy joke. It looks like a Padepa movie of three hours of seeing, but what is, how did, uh, from daylight, how is it possible? And that nuances, there will be one uh, yeah. nuance. That's, that's a very, very good question. Brilliant question, actually. I think, uh, okay, kudos to you, ma'am. Very good question because I wanted such kind of questions to come. The reason is, today's world is purely network world, okay? If you don't know good people around you, and if you don't build that network, it won't work you. She's, she's absolutely right. Because I told you, I changed six companies, right? Do you think it's easy? No. Especially when you grow the grades, it's very difficult to change companies. And the only way that worked for me is I never burned the bridges. There's a concept called burn bridges, right? I don't know. Okay. Once you cross the bridge, you joined a company, and you're going to leave another to another company. What most of the people do is hate their managers. They don't maintain good relationships. They'll say bad words about their previous companies. 
right? It, it happens. You have to believe it, and it is true. All of you know. Forget about companies, right? You had friend, and you unfortunately had a breakup with the friend. You go back and say all the bad things about it, only about that friend, isn't it? Even in your girlfriend boyfriend stories also. When we have the breakups, what we do? Most of the time, we talk about negative stuff. Because of him, this happened, this happened, this happened. That's why the breakup happened. Similarly, the career also breakups happens. Breakup happens for a lot of reasons. But don't burn the burn the bridges. Because I'll tell you one interesting fact. All the companies that I worked, ma'am, to answer your question, every company hired me because of my previous manager's referrals. My previous manager referred me to a different company. When I change the companies, I ex- so what I do is I sit down with them on the table and say, X Y Z whatever it is. Let's say his name is Adam. I go and sit with Adam and say, Adam, you know what? I love this company, but I'm not learning more. I want bigger opportunities. Can I go and join something else? Is that okay with you? That's where I just start the conversations. But most of us will hide those conversations. I'll tell you, ma'am. People, what you? I, a lot of people work for me, right? I told you, I manage the global practice. They'll not tell you anything. They'll suddenly leave the company. They'll not have discussions. They'll not have career progression discussions with the with the with the above the line managers and all. If you don't do that, because the person who judged you for two to three years, he knows your skill set very well. If you don't discuss with him and choose a wrong path, then who's the, who's the loser? We are the losers. So that's the reason I just I generally what I do, ma'am. Generally, whenever I leave a company. For even before changing the company i go to my previous company boss and speak to him first before entering attending in the interview it is a very very risky thing to do very courageous people do this but i tell them when i left deloitte also i told my manager that i am leaving deloitte and i'm joining this company i'm going for an interview and the other person sitting there is your friend can you refer me there <laughs> that's what i did and he was happy to refer me because i was working very hard And the world, see, I'll tell you. So one of uh, recent interviews from uh, one of the chief ministers of South India, I think this year, um, he told the world is ninety percent good people and ten percent bad people. Unfortunately, we listen to this ten percent and think the whole world is bad. It's an amazing saying actually, because we we kept on listening to bad things, negative stuff. We think that everything is bad, which is not true. Your bosses are good people, okay. Don't, don't think, think that they are bad people. people. Especially if I'm your boss, I'll be very good person. Okay. <laughs> if you're joining my company, super. Okay. So what I'm saying is, have those conversations, build the networks, don't burn the bridges. This is very very important. Because what happens is, once we leave a one company, we leave, we go to the other company. You know where the call goes? It goes to the previous company and talks about your conduct. They talk about your uh, the reason for you leaving, all that stuff. and this is called background checks they do all the background checks and once they complete the background checks if you don't pass the background checks they don't even tell you why you failed the background checks but they reject your offer you think your previous company cannot do anything but your previous company can do lot of good things i'm not so talking about negative okay lot of good things if your previous manager said okay he's a brilliant guy they will hire you happily right so it's very important to kind of maintain maintain that relationship uh, it's, it's a very good question in the career perspective right don't don't burn bridges remember this word okay never burn your bridges i don't know there's a very good saying in telugu but i don't know in tamil but uh, when you cross the river right if uh, the, the wooden thing that gives you lift to cross the river if you dump it will you come back right you can't come back so it's it's important to take care of The, the, the thing, thing that gave you path, path. similar to colleges as well when, when you leave the college don't don't burn the bridges because college will have connect with everyone in the world that's where the new new companies come in that's where the new start talent comes in every year you leave now right but your juniors may be far far better than you that's the reason i always go to colleges and speak because i know 90% of you is much better than me because you are looking at new generation i didn't have google with me when i was studying right but today you have more exposure you can learn more stuff so if i think i'm if i think i'm better than you i'll be stupid i know that you are better than me that's the reason i had i need to be okay to learn from you i should come and speak to you that's why i don't know if you have observed right i've been asking like please ask questions 
I could have just spoken and left, right? I'm going to get the same credit, right? But the reason I wanted, even I told her, if you remember, ma'am, in the principal room, I said, I want to listen from the students more because I want to hear what's happening in their minds. So I can learn as well, right? That's important. So don't don't burn the bridges. That's the only response to me. Sir, you are a very good employee, right? And you are having a good relationship with your boss. If the boss or manager says, no, you cannot leave the organization, what will you do? I'll ask him to promote me. Oh, wonderful. Yes. <laughs> that is what... See, these are all the uh, questions on behalf of our students. Yeah. So, a so, so, lot of times, you know why the changes happen? Changes, changes happen because you are not growing in the, in the organization. Changes happen because of money. Most of the times. So, so if, if you're getting paid 40,000 40, in a company, if, if someone comes and says, I can give you 50, you immediately change. But that's it. That's not a good change. You should always change for career progression, not for money. Because the, if you go back and sit in the same same platform and work for five more years, and if you leave the companies and work for another company for five more years, probably you'll be paid similar after five years. It's like depreciation. You know depreciation, right? So eventually you'll get to the same number. You do 20% more depreciation this year or next year, whatever it is. You know, straight line method. How many, all of you are commerce students, right? So we use depreciation methodologies, different methodologies. But you, what happens? Eventually, you get to the same number. After five years, you get to the same number. Even if I take, uh, you know, 20% depreciation and then 10, 10, 10, 10 in the next of years. Or if I take 50% depreciation in the year one, end of the fifth year, my asset value is going to be zero anyways. That's a similar thing happens in career also. Even if you take jumps or if you take, don't take jumps, you're going to get to the same number. But the point is, I'm not talking about like, you know, whether you have to be loyal or not. My point is, you need to think about whether it's an option of career progression or it's because of various other reasons you're leaving. If you're leaving for career progression, if you're leaving for a good reason, your managers will understand it. And they'll let you go. And it happened with me. Otherwise, I would have not changed so many companies. And they accepted it. Happily. And if you, I'll, I'll tell you interestingly, okay? I started with US taxes, worked in Hyderabad, immediately went to US, worked in US for a couple of years, came back to India. Then uh, they asked me to go, uh, they, they offered me H1, by the way. My H1 was in ap application, then that's when I left uh, Deloitte and joined uh, Franklin and Britain. In Franklin and Britain, I joined because they were, a, uh, they were bringing up new practice in India. So I wanted to build the new practice completely, and Deloitte was already established by then. So, so I thought of joining a new company which can give me opportunity where I can actually be the leader. Now I'm a, I was an employee, but I wanted to be a leader. So I chose that option and I, my, I spoke to my managers and said, okay, that's a good choice. So they, they got convinced that my answer was very pleasing to them. They, I did not say your company is not good. I did not say anything. I said, I think this is a good option for me because I can use my skill set. Right? So then, then I left that company. But when I left Deloitte, I was a US tax person, but I moved into fund tax which is a completely different field. After Franklin Templeton, I don't know if you're listening to me, but this is very, very important. You have to listen to this, okay? Deloitte, I was a US tax person. I left Deloitte, joined Franklin Templeton as a fund tax supervisor, which is which has nothing to do with my previous job. When I left Franklin Templeton as a fund tax supervisor, I joined San Edison in Chennai as a mergers and acquisitions specialist, which has nothing to do with fund tax. I left Sun Edison and joined Shell Group, Shell Petroleum, as a UK tax expert. I never did UK taxes in my whole life, but I joined UK tax team. Okay. Then I left Shell and went to Middle, sorry, EY for um, uh, what is called uh, TFO, uh, Tax and Finance Operating Model, uh, Enlist, which is which has nothing to do with my previous jobs. Then I left EY and moved to Middle East in Saudi Arabia. I never did Middle East taxes. Then I left Middle East and joined UK now. Did you see my journey? Have you seen the similarities anywhere? But I've always progressed in my career. They hired me in a different role, which I have never done. Why do you think they would have hired me? Just think about it. Just think about it. People think like, people only hire experienced people, right? That's what the normal scenario. Don't you hear that, ma'am? Everywhere. I don't have experience. How can I do this? But I never had experience of this. But people hired me because they saw, as a, that's where we started. People never see whether you have that skill or not. People always see whether you can learn that skill or not. That's the interviewing technique. In that 45 minutes, 
I sell myself like the finest TV of the world. I tell I'm LED. I'm I'm digital uh, whatever. Yeah, I have the finest sound in the world. I tell I show them that this is what me. Here is my story. And once I tell that story, if that story is applicable and you know pleasing to the audience who is the interviewer, he hires me. If my story is not pleasing to the interviewer, he won't hire me. Simple, very simple. It is nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. Especially corporates. I'm telling you, corporate world is super, super fair. They they don't hire you because you came from someone. They don't hire you because of whatever reasons. And hundred percent, they don't hire you because of your scores. They they don't even care about your scores. Believe me, they don't care about your scores. You might get entry because of your scores, okay? You might clear your written test because of your scores. But they they don't hire you because of your scores. I have myself rejected so many people who who were state toppers. I rejected. Believe me, it was it happened. But I'm not saying they're bad. They were not good for that job. So it's about right job, right person, right fit. You have to be there in the right place for the right opportunity at the right time. That's how the careers are built. It's not about okay, I'm a superstar. Do you think every everyone will be Virat Kohli in a team? No, right. So it's not about the best team always. It's about the right team. You need you need somebody like Virat Kohli. You need somebody like uh, uh, Rohit Sharma. You need somebody like someone else who's not the same skill set. So the team needs different skill set. That's very important. If you don't crack that in the interview, you start boosting yourself. Oh, I'm a superstar. I'm a super. They don't hire you because they they would have seen so many of you. You getting my point? So don't try to. So the, the only um, tip to me, uh, tip from me to all of you, because you, especially third year students, okay, that's the reason I'm spending this time here, and it's getting late for me also. But the reason I'm telling you is, when you're sitting that 40 minutes interview, right, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, that's the that's the game changer for life. If you don't, you know, present yourself honestly, interview will interview will easily understand. If you start boosting something else now, which is not true. they know it very well you might be thinking that i'm smart i'm telling good things but they would know how to judge you so my my only request to you is be honest if you don't know something people ask you something you don't know please stand up and say please sorry i don't know and they'll appreciate it okay but what i what i see a lot of times them now is i ask about some some philosophy in accounting okay they start telling me about story which is no way related to that okay Oh no! What happens? So this, that, that, that. I like. Okay, stop. What? How do you calculate depreciation? That's my question. And they'll be like, you know, asset value, asset. No, no, no. Stop. Please stop. How do you calculate depreciation? That's my question. So I'm just as an example. I'm telling. If you don't know the answer, you if you come back and say, sorry, sir, I don't know the answer. We will be we will be happy to teach you. Instead of telling the wrong answers. So be honest. Is my My humble request to you, especially third years, third years, third years. Lift your hands. All of you are going to be in the market, right? Job market very soon. I don't know if you are going to the job market or somewhere else. But if you are going to the job market, my only tip is don't don't tell lies in the interviews. Okay, please don't tell lies in the interviews. Okay, that that's very important. Yeah. Thank you. Kindly welcome the respected principal, Dr. N. Bhuma Ma, to please felicitate the chief guest, Dr. Mr. Ganesh Kupala Sir. Hari Om. Is am I audible? Okay. Um, I am all stuck. I could also find out from the faces of students that they are also all stuck. Am I right? And uh, it was awesome. A man who we have witnessed at a distance. We call them a swayambu. Swayam, swayambu is self-made man, isn't it? We have seen at a distance. I am very happy to see him very close to us, sir. Thank you so much for being here. And first, I should thank you for giving him such a wonderful. That is why I said, like wherever he goes, he never thinks for himself. But secondly, he will be looking for who will be the best person for our college, who will be helping us, and who will be the spark and. Uh, He is just uh, found a great find for us. And one dear students, I would like to tell you a few things. What I have like observed from yesterday night, 
secret sir gave the number yesterday night from yesterday night from 9 o'clock only we got to uh, know each other one thing i wanted to tell you one is of course was talking about the hard work he was talking about the positivity i think we can understand the positivity behind the, the way he speaks have never really very 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 rare, rare, rare people we have come across in our life and uh, to be so positive at such a young age and beyond that one whenever we converse in the phone he was like now if i start talking he will stop talking he will listen i have heard somewhere and i have read somewhere that those who listen are the successful person very long back i have just read and somebody has told me i am just first i am witnessing whenever just i start up complex i mean like i wanted to say when he is conversing and i wanted to share some point immediately he stops he listen to us me then only he continues sir really we are amazed to see such a wonderful person we are happy to accept him but i assure you there are lot more ganesh here and the girls ganesh because it's a male doesn't mean the girls are also there lot more students are sitting there and i wonder like all of us students should also listen to you but uh, for our space we will share this to all the link to the students also so many people will come up definitely i'm sure i wanted to see you all succeed like uh, mr ganesh sir how he has made his uh, but uh, thanks to our college that they have shown all this because i don't know whether when he studied his college whether he had mentor like this we do not know sir thanks for being here my pleasure thank you so much Can you give a very big applause to him? I take this opportunity to propose the vote of thanks for this session. I would like to thank the chief guest, Mr. Ganesh Kupala sir, for taking out his precious time and coming to our college and enlightening the students community. I would like to thank our respected secretary, sir, Mr. A. V. M. K. Shanmugam sir, for giving us the opportunity. To welcome sir and giving us the wonderful informations i would like to thank our respected billard principal ma'am dr n bhuma ma'am i take this opportunity to thank all the faculty members and the students thank you all and have a wonderful day ahead